Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today of some lovely new goodies, new out things or new that I've seen anyway on the website and also a compilation review of one that I got last month. So these are all from gbfke.com, uh, one of my favourite companies, great company to deal with. And yeah, they asked me if I wanted some more products. And of course I said yes, because I love them. But I'm going to show you my little bunny rabbit first, so you can have a look at this one. Uh, I just finished this one last night, because I am doing a smashing the specials of six, with uh, Mindy's Diamond Moment and Mystery of Diamonds. And uh, yeah, I think this was quite about completion. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm up to, I think I've done 20. I've still got some to put on the Facebook group. But yeah, I am sort of more or less keeping up to doing one project a day at the moment. Uh, but yeah, this was, uh, I think maybe 15 or 16. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, I thought you'd like to see him. But how happy is that little bunny? He's absolutely gorgeous. And I love the colours. I just think this little bit of amber in his eyes there with the little silver to highlight and the little bit of hot pink in his ear. And then his mouth is like a very dark red with a little bit of pale pink for his tongue. And the, it just looks super. And then one little hot pink uh, oval for his nose there. But he's just so cute, all crystals, all nice and sparkly. Well, I say all crystals, apart from the black, that one is just your standard black drill. But he is so cute. And uh, yeah, he's going to go on the uh, desk. You know how rabbits do bum, 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 when there's uh, danger around. Yay! But he's gorgeous and I really enjoyed doing him. Really good sticky. Gems all went down, no problem whatsoever. Really clear drill field. I think he maybe took me about 40 minutes an hour. I don't, I try not to rush them now. Um, I try to just relax and just do them and just enjoy the process rather than trying to get it done as fast as possible. Um, yeah, because I want to enjoy doing them. Because sometimes I feel really sad when a project is finished because I've enjoyed doing it so much. <laughs> He is the nice wooden one uh, and it is like the three layers of the wood all squeezed together there so it does make it nice and strong and um, before i seal it because this is a little bit tacky down here i am going to just color this in black as well Um i'm there in a black mark around the edge i'm not sure because the brown is pretty good having the dark brown and yeah but he's just so cute i love him whether i'll actually manage to keep him here or whether somebody, one of the little girls or boys that come to the house say, oh, I quite like that, that. It may disappear. I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> and then he just goes in his little stand. I will be sealing him. So if he does end up going to uh, a little person's house, then, uh, yeah, because I don't know. What, it just always reminds me, giving something like this to uh, a younger child, uh, of when I used to sit, I had one of those purses with all the little beads on, and I used to sit and pick them all off, and it ended up bald. So, yeah, I just always think I can imagine them sat there just picking them off. So if I seal it, they won't be able to do that. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. I was a strange child. <laughs> Oh dear, but yeah, he's just so much fun and cuteness and I do like my cute. So it was all, as I say, apart from the black and then we've got, what's that, the standard crystal and the standard crystal, um, these crystals, oh, look at that hot pink, they'll all just go into my uh, generic um, crystals and I am starting to put these into donation piles now as well because I've just got so many of them because I do like my specials so they will go oops that one wants to go there it's all they will go into my black and my silver jars okay let's get on to the new thing a lot of special offers on at the moment so it's always worth checking out any discounts or anything if you buy one item there is 13 percent off if you buy five items there is 15 percent off spend over 29 euros and you get a free gift 
and over 59 euros and it's free shipping so go and check out all the special offers i'll put some screenshots in as well and um, as i always say the special offers are at the time i'm making this video so if you do go on in a couple of months time the offers may have changed but always do go and check out the offers because there's usually some really good ones on and we all like to save money and get bargains yay okay and free gifts as well right so we have oh, a diamond painting and oh another diamond painting i think we might have two different seasons there and we have oh a special oh we've got a sneaky peek there and another special Yay. okay i do like my specials to say i'm doing smashing the specials at the moment and uh, yeah i'm tending to do quite a lot and as one lady pointed out to me well if you do lots at the moment and you've got room to get some more to fill up that space that you've got so it'd be rude not to wouldn't it <laughs> okay let's have a look at these oh i remember these um yeah they're all things that are new to me um apologies if you've actually seen them before but they were all new in items when i did uh, select them for gb from gbfke wear all new items when I selected them from GBFKE. So these are all Halloween and they're keychains. Yay! Oh, and it's all bagged up ready, look. Oh, I like it when it comes up bag up ready. You don't even have to have a pair of scissors. You can just crack on and get these done. You've got your pen button wax. You've got your little keychains all there as well, ready for putting on. So if you're wanting them for uh, younger people or to sit and do them with younger people or older people or whoever wants to do them, then yeah, you don't need anything else. Great, great for taking on holiday to do as well because it's just a small little packet. So we have, I believe that's like a scream mask. Um, I mean, they're sort of scary. They're sort of cartoony scary, aren't they? They're not too scary for younger children. Um, but yeah, that one's actually, that one's got a knife on it. So maybe, maybe not. That one, I think, is the little Chucky doll. <laughs> oh, it does just look like a toddler in a tantrum to me. <laughs> I've seen a few of those today. Uh, yeah, we've been out today and we went to the shops and oh my goodness. Yes, there was a lot of um, toddlers with tantrums today. Uh, these are double-sided as well, so brilliant. And yeah, they're just a little cover, front and back, just to take off, to put all your gems on, all your crystals. Uh, and as get... I would recommend sealing these as well uh, because they are keychains, so they're going to be in and out of bags. Okay, so we have five all together. So what one's that one? I'm not quite sure what that one is. Um, I was thinking with it having the bike, it was maybe a uh, jigsaw, but I don't think it is. So you'll maybe know more uh, what this one is than I do. Uh, but it's got like a like an alien shape head, I think. And it does look like it's got a little bicycle. Uh, so, yeah, but again, double-sided. So not too scary. Ah, now then, that one's jigsaw, isn't it? So, yeah, he's, uh, he's looking, well, not too scary. So it's just a bit of fun. Um, I don't think I'll actually be using these as keychains. I think I'm going to hang them up as part of my uh, Halloween decorations. And then I think with the red balloon that this one is um, oh, something face. What's he called? No, Pennywise. I think this one's Pennywise, but I'm not quite sure. Or it's a sort of similar sort of theme to Pennywise, isn't it? A clown with a red balloon. So, yeah. Hubby keeps saying he wants one of those um, jigsaw figures on a bike. And I said, if you think I'm having one of those in the house, you've got another thing coming absolutely not <laughs> i've seen too many horror films they're just not coming in the house don't mind these because they'll be tied up and hung but uh, yeah there's no way i would have one of those dolls on a bike no <laughs> i love horror films i do watch horror i can't watch anything gory anymore um yeah since hubby's been in hospital i cannot watch anything gory but i do like horror films so i just fast forward through the gory bits these days all right so this is a diamond art key rings 
and a five piece and they were $6.99 so just over a dollar each what's that about one pound 30 $1.30 ish each something like that so we've got our nice lobster claw keychains and also the little uh, ball and fastener for the little chain so you can either put the uh, lobster claw clasp on as well and just put the little keychain so i don't think this one looks like a tantrum toddler <laughs> through there and oops fingers and thumbs and fasten it through there and then you can hang it like that these just fasten by popping that little ball into there and then it just pulls closed uh, and then you can just open them you can have them as long or as short as you like as well you can always lengthen or shorten these um or you can have it without uh, i will be having it without because i will just be hanging them uh, possibly from uh, some rope or some string or something and just having them dangling dotted about uh, as decorations so yeah that face is just so funny it's excellent i love it all right so i'm going to find another little bag to put those in separately oh well, when i said little i didn't mean quite this little but it's just the first one i've come to so it will have to do okay one two three four five yeah i did get my five but yeah i just thought they were quite quirky a bit of fun um and maybe teenagerish you know if they're wanting to do diamond paintings and they don't want little cute things they're more into you know something a bit more scary shall we say so, yeah and then we have the gems and they are all crystals Ooh. I bet these baddies never thought that they were all going to be done in crystal. <laughs> oh dear. I'm trying to think what that one is. No, it's gone anyway. So we have a, well, that's like a purpley colour. And let's start from the other end. That's better. So we've got your yeah, crystals there, just lovely clear crystal, a very bright red. Your standard black there. Uh, there's no DMC codes on any of these. I think that is a very, very dark grey. No, yeah, it's not blue. It is a very, very dark grey. Very, very. <laughs> We've got uh, an orange colour, which I think is going to be for this little toddler's hair. <laughs> <laughs> a champagne gold colour, a very pale blue, very pretty, and a little bit darker sparkly blue, and a lemony gold. And we have a hot pink, oh my goodness me, we have a hot pink, a gorgeous purple there, and another lovely clear blue. And back to the little like purpley. I think that's sort of the equivalent of 154 to be honest. But oh, now then, that says 157. That one says 37. That one says 192. I wonder if 158. Hmm, 157. I'm just looking at the numbers that are there and I'm just wondering. Although that says 31, so that can't be a DMC code. But I might have a look at my gems and see if any of those colours do match up to any of those numbers. I am trying to find a way to match my crystals into the DMC numbers. I have got somewhere I've had canvases where they have got DMC numbers on, um, rather than just putting them into my generic ones when I've finished. But uh, possibly for future. <laughs> Okay, so I will put those in with those gems as well. And we'll have a look at the next item. Super. Ooh, spooky. Would you have these in your house? Would you do these? Do you like horror films? Ooh. <laughs> right, get off the seat. That's the only scary thing that I've got this time. This one is absolutely gorgeous. And again, a special drill project. OK, 
Okay, and this one is a hanging, uh, like sign or plaque of a turtle, a sea turtle. Look at that. That is just so pretty and just so serene out the turtles. And they're so placid as well. You know, I've, I watch uh, quite a few YouTube videos of people having to rescue them, you know, when they get tied up in all the fishing nets and things. And they just let people get on with it and help them. And they even turn around and look back sometimes. And it's just like the same, thank you. It's really sweet. <laughs> but I just loved the colours on this. And I think this one will go in my bathroom. I might hang it on the window or from the uh, top of the window frame, as it were. Uh, yeah. And it's got the picture on the back as well. So is this a, a cover? I think it is. Let me just see. Oh yeah, I won't take it off, but yeah, you can see that uh, that is a cover on it. So that's like a dust cover to stop it getting scratched or getting uh, fluff or whatever on it. And then obviously this side is just your cover um, for your diamond painting, for your glue, so that when you're ready to put your gems on, you can just lift this up and diamond paint. Oh, and actually none of the bits that haven't got the numbers on doesn't look like there's any glue on those bits so it's pretty accurate with the glue as well sometimes you get these and they just put the glue right the way across uh, in which case you would probably need to seal it i will be sealing this one won't be putting sealer on it because it probably as i say will be going in my bathroom to go with my large turtle picture that i've got in there so this one's not smiling though the other one smiles at you while you sat on the toilet <laughs> Okay, so we've got our like seaweed down at the bottom there and then all the waves and he's just popping out to say hello, see what the day is like. And it's like a sunrise or a sunset in the background. And then it is like a plate, isn't it? I mean, you don't need to hang it up. It has got the two um, holes there and it looks like we've got a chain to go with it as well. So it is one that you can hang up, but if you don't want to hang it up, um, you could always just use a command strip or something just pop it on the back um, and stick it flat onto the wall like a plate or prop it up on a plate stand you know there's quite a few plate stands around as well so this is a very different chain this is like um all i can liken it to is like whistles send to see if anybody's got a whistle around the neck or something they have these so it's a little bit different chain this one I'm uh, not sure what it's called. Is it a rope chain? Is it like a rope? It's a very close together rope, it is, if it is a rope. It's like little squares together. So that's very, very pretty. And we have two very good, strong lobster claw clasps on the end as well. These are the easiest ones to use because all you do is just pop the little, um, a little lever at the back and it just opens the little mechanism at the front. So they're very easy just to clip through onto your project. So I like that. I like the fact that it's silver as well. So yeah, that will definitely be going in my bathroom, but special drill. And the price of this one at the moment is £8.89. Unless you get that money off, of course, because there are the special offers. We've got our pen, boat and wax to do your little kit there. And let's have a look at these special gems. Right, so not many colours. There's only six different ones. So we've got the standard black there, which is your 310 black, which is set number one, which is going to be all the edgings all the way around. So it's a little bit stained glass window-ish, as though it's got like the black uh, edgings, the black boxes to everything. We've then got this lovely emerald green there. Gorgeous, uh, like a honey, ambery gold there, and a little bit of a lemony gold, and then we have these semispheres uh, in whole gold. So there's no facets on those, and then these are again semispheres. There's no facets on them in the emerald green. So not many colours. Let's have a look at these. So. The emerald green rounds then are going to go all the way around the edge of the border. Uh, the little golds, let me have a look there, number five. Oh, we're all on his scales, look, on his legs. Oh, that's different. 
and then four is all the middle of his legs there and round his head and then three is his uh, shell on his back there and a little bit of shading two is your green down here and then one is uh, all of that around there so yeah not many colours won't take long to do but very very pretty i do love special girl projects and i do think they're great to slot in between if you're doing something that's a really big project that's going to take you a couple of months to do sometimes it's nice to do something quick you know if you're doing it and you think i'm never going to get this finished just do a quick little project in between it and it just gives you a bit of a boost because you've just achieved and finished something in the middle so i'm just going to pop that chain in with those because i put the toolkit separate they go in my donation box but yeah i'm loving that really really serene and peaceful love that oh i'd love to give it a cuddle you know I'd, i see every animal and all i want to do is go and give them a cuddle I'm definitely going to come to a sticky end if I keep going up and cuddling things, though. I am going to cuddle something one day that I shouldn't. <laughs> OK, and then this one is an autumn one. And again, it was a new kit to me, new that I saw on the website. And it is a special drill diamond painting. And it's an autumn Ah, look at that and i just thought this was really pretty autumn oops sorry mr turtle i'm gonna have to move you over there so i can flatten out a bit pretty bit autumn is my favorite time of year i just love the fact that you can start putting a jumper on and just feel that little bit of chill when you go out but not so that you're absolutely frozen and feel sad it's just uh, lovely just gets you nice and snug and warm in your big woolly pullies and um, i love the colors of the leaves as well if you go to somewhere like the lake district in the uk and um, the colors on the leaves on the trees are just fantastic um, i know in the us you've got bigger forests than us but uh, yeah <laughs> Our little bits where all the leaves and the trees and things are, are just stunning as the leaves start to fall and the crunchy underfoot as well. Really, really pretty. I love autumn. And then, of course, it's leading up to my actual favourite time of year, which is Christmas, which I'm just a really big kid coming up to Christmas. I enjoy the lead up to Christmas, I think, more than actual Christmas itself. <laughs> Okay, so this one is 10 different gems and colours. Now then, we have got numbers. Ooh, so that's interesting. I'm just looking at those numbers on this key code here. I think, I think they are DMC codes. Because 666 is the red there. And we've got 310, which is your black, which is probably standard black anyway. So I think we've got DMC codes on these gems. So I will be able to kick down these crystals into the DMC code. Oh, now that's interesting. I like that idea. Mm, yeah, 3772. Yeah, they're all DMC numbers. That is really, really good if they start doing that um yeah because then i mean if you decided you wanted to do it as a plain gems instead of your crystals you can swap them out or if you've got any a b's and you think well actually rather than a crystal um an aurora borealis uh, an iridescent coated gem would look better than the crystal on just this color here then you can swap them out and do it that way if you've got the numbers because you can match all your numbers up i am liking this Excellent. Thank you, GBFKE. I hope this is going to be the sign of things to come with special drills. So let's, oh, we'll do a quick measure. Uh, it is a 30 by 30, but I think we'll find that this one will be 25 by 25. Let's have a look. Yep, 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. So 25 centimetres and nine and three quarter inches. So it will fit nicely into your magnetic frames or into a 30 by 30 frame if you just want to put 
I would put, say, an orange or a gold piece of card as a backing. Um, if you've got some edging to just cover over, I think that would look stunning just to bring that uh, gold and uh, red and orange out on your project. But yeah, like that. Just hello autumn. Because here in the UK, it is autumn. I know in the US it is fall, but we call it autumn. So very pretty. And it looks like we've got all berries here as well. So just a little bit different rather than just a standard wreath. We've got the little star in the middle and it looks like it's made out of wood as well. So it's a little bit um, shabby sheepish as well, shall we say. Okay, let's have a look, let's have a look. So we have our standard black there and that's like a grey, greeny colour. And a cherry red there and a lemony gold. And a little bit lighter red. And a little bit of orange amber there. And a little bit of jade green. And that one's like a bronzy browny peach colour. And a deep bronze there. And then your berries are all going to be these little red larger rounds there. They have got facets on, so, but there is a lot of them all dotted round. So yeah, ten different gems and colours. Okay, I'm blown away by the DMC codes. I hope that's going to be the future because I don't like to put things away in order. And uh, yeah, know where I am. <laughs> and I do like to swap things about as well so I can match everything up. I like doing that. Okay, so that is our little autumn picture. And then finally, we're moving on from autumn to. Da -da -da -da. Can you guess? <laughs> it's Christmas! Yay! <laughs> okay, so this again is a 30 by 30 and it's just a very small little wreath and like a, a dark wooden type background in brown. You can see all the wood grain on the background uh, with lots of little stars and gems on it. Oh, I've not seen that one before. That looks a bit different. And we'll get that one and see what it's like. I do like reeds. I've done a lot of reeds in the past. But this one, obviously, you can put in a picture frame. I think you can see if I can get without the glare just a sec. Uh, you can sort of oh, take the cover off, Lou. What are you playing at? Right. Yeah, you can see it now, look, in the background. You've got, like, the wood grain on the brown in the background. So it is like it's on a wooden door or, um, or, a, a, wood, uh, or a wood background. So, yeah, so I've got this gorgeous, pretty wreath with the big red bow. Merry Christmas in the middle. You could always use some magic glue um, and just put crystals on there if you wanted to or leave it as is. There is eight different gems and colours. Doesn't look like this is DMC codes, but we do have crystal codes on them. We've got X's and Q's, which I am starting to try and collect to work out whether they're generic between every company or where, to work out whether they're the same between every company. So Q114 is the same for this company as the other company, as the other company, so I can match them all up or whether they are just specific for this canvas and they're just the numbers that they've used. So we'll see how that one goes. I will let you know as I go along. Pen, butt and wax as normal. And then, oh, lots and lots of crystals. Again, quite a quickish project to do with this one, but very effective once it's done. And I do like a bit of sparkle. In fact, actually, I like a lot of sparkle at Christmas. What am I saying? I like a lot of sparkle. <laughs> so with this lovely Christmassy red. Oh, we've got a hot pink. Yay, we've got hot pink. And that gorgeous fresh pale green colour. And a little bit darker green. And a lovely gold there. And then lots and lots of little gold stars, which are going to be all the way around the edges of it. So it's not just the centre of the picture that has your gems on. It's going to be all sparkly around the edges as well. Excellent. 
and then our two extra specials are well there's three isn't it? i've just shown you the stars <laughs> so then we have some semispheres which are ones without any uh, facets on in the red for the berries and then the large semispheres in the gold which are the full gold and they are I think they're going to be on these and the berries are going to be on those so yeah very nice so yeah there's just the um there's just the canvas number on these bags there isn't anything else so what i will do is probably as i click these down right on them that one is one uh, q153 one is 114 and then i've got the x65 which is the stars and then if i get some more that look like these i'll see what the code number on that canvas was for these as well and we'll see how we get on never know i might get uh, an actual i might get like an inventory sheet one day of all the numbers so that we know what they are but there are so many thousands of the different um styles of gems and colors and shapes and sizes that whether I'll, they'll actually happen or not i don't know but i can try okay so huge thank you gbfke for sending me these absolutely i love them i've really enjoyed uh doing my little bunny rabbits and then opening and seeing these and thinking i want to do that one now and i want to do that one now and i want to do that one now and i want to do these now <laughs> So we've had our little smoky earrings, we've had our gorgeous serene turtle there just swimming through the sea, we've had a little bit of autumn and a little bit of Christmas and then a little bunny just to finish it all off. Okay, well if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.